Hey everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. So in this lesson, we are going to see how we can install DeepSeek on a Docker container. So here you can see we have several models. We have like with 1.5 billion prompts, then 7 billion prompts and so on. So this one, uh, which is with 671 billion prompts, this is the most accurate uh, and most knowledgeable. But this one requires like 404 gigabit of space to like run it. And also, of course, you are going to need a lot of processing power. So this is just the storage space which you need. You are also going to need a lot of uh, processing power to run it so in this example we are probably going to just go ahead and use seven one with seven billion prompt or maybe with eight billion prompt whichever anything is fine and then we are also going to see how we can uh, query it using command line or probably you can go ahead and create our own apis we are also going to see how we can use uh, or how we can create telegram bot which actually queries this deep seek and then gives answer to the user so let's go ahead and see that what i have done is i have just documented everything here so you can always go ahead and see it so first of all, we are going to uh, run this one, Olama. Now, Olama is something which is going to help us uh, run DeepSea. So that's the reason we are going to install Olama in a Docker container. So let's go ahead, copy this and open up the server. So let's do this side by side. I'm just going to move it. And on the right hand side, we are just going to open the command prompt. Now, uh, I'm just going to paste our first command. So I'm just going to go ahead, copy it, paste it here, hit enter and you can see container has been created now our next step is going to be of executing it so what we are going to do is step two pull the deep seek r1 model so we are just going to go ahead copy it uh, run it hit enter so it's going to take some time for you to literally pull it because you can see it's like 4.7 gb in my case it's faster because of the internet speed and now the third thing which we are going to do is we're just going to go ahead and here you can see we are basically giving prompt to uh, deep seek we are asking him hello how are you and you can give any prompt so we are running this docker execute command uh, which is going to respond okay so I'm just going to go ahead copy it paste it here hit enter and you can soon see it is going to think and going to respond okay so you can see even with like you know something simple as hello how are you it still takes some time to respond because like the server on which i'm running is uh, around 32 gb uh, having 32 gb of ram and then it is just having called four cpu core anyways so now uh, what we are going to do is we can do the same thing okay because doing the uh, running it over command prompt is no fun so what we are going to do is we are going to run run it like an api so what i'm going to do is let's just go ahead copy it and then we are going to paste it here so it's going to respond us now one thing i would like to change i don't really ask uh, about tell me about ai i'm just going to change it to hi uh, because if I ask like tell me about AI it's going to think a lot and going to take some time so here you can see I just wrote hi it responded us with a JSON now if you see in this JSON we have you know we have several keys one is model the other one is created at and third one is response now response is something which we are interested in uh, which actually replies so i'm not going to worry about that a lot i'm just going to basically get this response and going to reply back the user okay so what we can do is we can go ahead and create a telegram bot so let's go to bot father and here you can see we have bot father i'm just going to write start what is called a new bot okay so we can write new bot is going to ask you what you want to call this new bot i'm just going to call it uh, deep seek tutorial and it's going to ask okay what is the username so we are going to tell the username should be deep seek tutorial bot and it should give us the key okay it has given us the key now one more thing i'm going to do is i'm going to disable the privacy by doing set privacy and we should uh, you can see there are so many bot I have so we are going to disable the privacy okay so any message which is sent to this bot bot is uh, we are basically going to receive those message and we are going to do the further processing now we are going to use this uh, we are going to use this token in our flask program so another thing which I have done is I have actually created a flask program so if you do like vit.py you can see this is just a flask program and what it does is it queries uh, deep seek which we have now running on our local system and if you remember the curl command here you can see the curl command so this is the api which we need to hit we need to uh, pass the payload which is model name of the model uh, the one which we are using is this one 
we need to pass the prompt streaming we can disable enable it depending on what we want to do so we are basically going to hit this api going to pass the data which we are receiving from telegram bot to this deep seek and then it is going to reply us back okay and this one i'm running on port 5010 so this one you need to remember that we are running it on port 5010 and the reason for that is because now we need to do some configuration in nginx so we are going to go to uh, cd or probably i'm just going to do vi etc nginx conf d and then it should be tbot.conf okay so uh, i have created a dns entry so anything which which i receive on tbot.techbloomacademy.com or whatever it's going to be forwarded to this url okay so this is where our flask program is listening on so this is what we are going to do now let's go ahead save it and of course you need to create a dns entry uh, you need to create an a record to point to this server now the other thing which we need to do is we are going to use this telegram api token and then i'm just going to go to which is something called webhook manager and here we need to we need to set webhook so i'm just going to use these options and we are going to select set webhook and let's go ahead paste the token which we have received and then it is going to ask you okay where do you want to uh, send this set this webhook to so I'm going to send the or set the webhook to HTTPS tbot dot uh, let's call it techbloomeracademy.com slash webhook. Now remember this is where our Flask program is listening for the input. Okay, so this is uh, the path we have given, and that's it. It is going to set the webhook, and our bot was called. I forgot what was the name of the bot, so I'm going to go to bot father again and see what was the bot called okay it was called deep seek tutorial so here you can see now we can just click on start and it has actually sent this slash start to uh, our flask program but right now it's not running so i'm just going to go and run it so here you can see now our program is running so we can in fact write hi or whatever or we can wait for you can see okay so it has actually responded for start so now i'm going to ask uh, what's your name it should respond with something let's see Here you can see it has responded greetings i'm deep seek r1 blah 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 whatever and so now this bot is fully functional and all this you know the model is actually running on a server and it is going to respond from there so there's no data security concern all the data is going to be on your own server and okay let me ask it something related to some coding example so uh, give me a sample python hello world program let's see how it responds okay so this one has responded with like everything there's so much big paragraph so it took like uh, three four seconds to respond but we have got the uh, response now the response already looks okay so you can see this is something which is running with around seven billion parameters if we have like one running with uh 671 billion parameters i think the accuracy and everything is going to be so perfect now of course you don't need to run it on a, a cpu i think if you want to run it better to run it on a, a gpu so it is going to respond faster is and going to respond better so that's all in this lesson if you have any question please feel free to let me know in the comment section i can create more tutorials about deep seek if you want to learn and if you have some ideas on which you want me to like create a video let me know thank you so much for watching